Hey guys, Spy101 here. Um, this is gonna be a video on on the new Fantastic Four movie, my review of it. Yesterday I went to go see this movie because for years I had been waiting for them to do a reboot of the Fantastic Four films. Because when I was five years old, that's when the original ones came out with Jessica Alba. I loved those movies so much, I would literally watch them all day if I could. And ever since then, I've been waiting years for them to do a reboot, and when I heard they were finally doing it, I got so excited and just couldn't wait to see it. I, In fact, I got almost as excited as I was when I heard they were doing Ant-Man. Now, I went in... Now, immediately after opening day, there was all kinds of bad reviews about this movie, but I don't believe in other people's opinions to determine whether or not I see a movie like some people. I go in and I judge it for myself. And I went in, watched it with my brother. I took him to the movies because we both wanted to see it. And overall, the movie was pretty good. It uh, it wasn't uh, like some people are saying it's just absolutely terrible. It's not perfect. I'm admitting that here. Hold on, let me fix the camera. It's not perfect. I'll admit that. But it's uh. It's it's okay, just it's not like amazing, awesome, perfect, because there are some people out there who are all like who are all like, I need it to be perfect. I just I need it to have this, that, a little bit of this, a little hint at what's coming next, and stuff like that. And while I'll admit it did take a while for them to get their powers, um. And how it was a little bit out of place, and how for a second there I felt like falling as falling asleep in the movie theater. I overall on a on a scale from one to ten. On a scale from one to ten, one being per one being really bad and ten being perfect. I give it like a like a six or a seven, like a, like a six point five. I give it a six point five. Some people will immediately say one or zero, or negative a hundred. Whatever. Anyway, I give it a I give it a six point five because w you gotta remember is, is that um it's a it's a good film. It brings back a lot. Of, it brings well not a good film, but like it brings back memories from when we were kids. Like for some of you viewers out there who are my age, I'm fifteen. I was five years old when the other ones came out, and I love those. And they brought back memories of watching those. And just wishing and pretending I could be in my in my in my state here, uh, wishing I could be Mr. Fantastic, stretching my arms, uh, reach up on the roof to get a kitten off, reach up to reach my arms out to get a kitten out of the tree and stuff like that. But yeah, um, there's a the, the the design for the thing was better though in this movie. The thing was all CGI'd with a uh, with the actor who played. Ben Grimm before he was a thing, voiced over, and um, I thought the the friendship between Reed and Ben was pretty good. They've been friends since they were little kids. This movie, how they get their powers instead of traveling in space, is through another dimension. Now keep in mind, I'm about to say some spoilers right now, and I just did like a couple seconds ago. But if you haven't seen the film yet, um, don't watch this video, or don't watch the rest of this, and if you don't plan on seeing it, um, you can still watch it, or you can just still exit. Anyway, but yeah, um, I thought the, 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 the story of them getting their powers took a little longer than I thought it would. It, um, it focused more on when they were, how, it focused more on them bonding at first, like them developing a friendship, and then it all goes, and then it all goes to hell when they get their powers, the explosion and everything. And there's a new design for Doctor Doom. Now, the original Doctor Doom in the 2005 film, sorry, that was someone closing the door. The original Doctor Doom in the 2005 film looks exactly like we see in the comic books. This new version of Doctor Doom looks like he. Looks like he had an aluminum spray painted all over his body with a green rag over his head. While I admit that look was pretty, you know, a little lame, um, 
and not cool. Like, he even had glowing green eyes. Well, that was pretty cool. I wish maybe they would have done something a little differently. Now, I just watched a video by someone who who did a review on their movie, on the movie, and he said, he said that the whole reason why Fox did this movie was so they can keep the rights to Fantastic Four so, to avoid Marvel getting the rights rights. But on the bright side, this new film makes the 1994 one look like a masterpiece. Because my mom and I watched the original, the 1994 one, and it was just absolutely cheesy. Like, it was just not cool. And, uh... Let's see what else. Um, the suits were definitely new. It didn't have the little, it didn't have the four symbol on the chest like they do in the comic books. And uh, they have like certain style suits. Like for instance, Mr. Fantastic, he has little rings on his arms and around his body in order to keep it in this place. Because when they first get their powers, they have no way to control it. Sorry, I had something stuck in my teeth. Um, but yeah, they have no way of controlling it, so they make these suits to help them. And another thing that I thought was pretty interesting was that Mr. Fantastic, besides just having the ability to stretch, he can now actually stretch his face so it looks like someone else. So he looks like someone else. I thought that was pretty cool. But imagine all the cramps you get in your cheekbone from doing that. <laughs> but I really thought it was pretty good. Um, it, it was okay. Um, my, um, I, I, I asked my friend yesterday if he was going to see it. He said, uh, I'm not sure, because I've been hearing a lot of bad stuff about it. And he said that his cousin went to go see it, and he said that his cousin said it was just absolute crap. There was nothing good about it whatsoever. And while some of you may agree with him, um... I actually I thought it was okay. I mean, if you're gonna show if you're gonna take like a little kid to see a movie, uh, Fantastic Four would probably be the one to do it. But yeah, um, I don't know. I just I looked on the internet on like uh, what's the app? Uh, I can't remember the app for it. It's where they show you upcoming movies, movies in theaters, and reviews. And stuff that's on DVD. Um, Flickster. Flickster, that's the name of it. Flickster. I was scrolling down on Upcoming and it said Fantastic Four 2. And I thought, they already have plans to make a Fantastic Four 2. And now seeing this movie, see, seeing this movie, I can kind of see why they would be a little bit flaky on making a new one. Another one. If they do plan on making another one, I hope they make it better than the one they did. Because that would, um, save it. Usually it's sequels that screw up. Usually the first one's gold. But in this case, it's not. So hopefully, if they do make a Fantastic Four 2, the second one's better. And please, for the love of God, don't bring Doctor Doom back. Please don't. Can we just please do a different villain? There's so many Fantastic Four villains they haven't done yet. Like, Mole Man and, uh, the Inhumans. And, uh, we've already seen Galactus and Silver Surfer. And me personally, I don't want to see them again. Please don't bring them back. Um, but yeah, just please do a different villain. And, uh, if they do, and again, if they do do, uh, sorry, that was my, that was a paperclip. And then, uh, if they do do a Fantastic Four 2, for God's sakes, fix the story. Uh, fix the way the characters behave. Um... And, uh, on the actors, I thought the actors were pretty good. I thought Miles Teller played a good Mr. Fantastic. And, um, I thought the girl who played Sue Storm was okay. I mean, they're trying to get younger actors so they could do more movies. Because the people who did the... He did... Because, uh, the actors for the 2005 one... They were like in their, in their, um, some of them are probably in their late 30s, mid 30s, but, like, uh, I think maybe, 
I think maybe the guy who did Mr. Fantastic was probably in his uh, 30s or something, late mid 30s. But yeah, um, I really hope that eventually they let they let they let um, Fantastic Four go back to Marvel because if Marvel can, because I think Marvel would probably fix it. Um, because so far, um, yeah, just by this movie, and plus, the director said in a tweet, uh, Josh Trank, I think his name, the director, he even said that he knew this movie was not good. He even said that, so, and plus, it kind of sucks, too, that they didn't have the movie in 3D, because usually when a movie's in 3D, that usually means they have complete faith in it, but it wasn't, so that means the people did not have faith in this, that means that... Um, they didn't have faith in it, so, but then again, but the actors all had faith in it. Well, then again, I don't know if they did or not. They are probably just doing it to make a quick buck. Um, but then again, that's probably what most actors do. Um, so yeah, um, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you thought, let, in the comment, let me know what you guys thought of the movie. Um, I have a... I have a comic call I'm going to show you guys later today. Um, also, upcoming news, movies that I'm planning to see and stuff like that. So it might be split up into parts. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry if I seem like this. I just, I'm tired. But anyway, bye.